fully controlling the car and feeling how man, machine and tires work together in unison. But what forces are actually at work here? When a car turns into a corner, lateral acceleration occurs, pushing the car wide. On a racing car, the force is up to 3.4 G, while on road cars, 1.3 G is about the most. The effect of 1,000 kilograms, for example, then becomes 1,300. The tire's design absorbs these forces, thus making them possible to control. People, they never think about tires. They want to buy a nice car, they want to have nice rims, you know, and then tire is just an option. The time they realize how important the tire is, sometimes it's too late because they had a crash and they say, well, but I could not stop the car or I could not turn the car. And then they get back to say, well, maybe the tires, they were too old, they were not good enough. They have to withstand a lot. As at car corners, the rotary forces on the wheels want to go straight on, while the steering command forces the tires to turn. Put together, the tires now have both forward and lateral guidance jobs to do. When the driver turns the wheel, energy is fed to running gear and tires, which ultimately ensure stable handling. Nowhere is better than a racetrack for finding out in a compact, comparative way what feedback has to feel like in order to build up confidence in a set of tires. How do they respond to the driver? What do they tell him? In endurance racing, they worked so hard that they have to be changed every 60 minutes. It's not the great technological advances that make motorsport so important. It's the small, constant improvements. Therefore, motorsport is used to, to have a constant develop and a constant learning how to make tires better. On the Dunlop test tracks, racing expertise meets road tires to work on these details. There's a lot of load in the front axle and then um, the pattern also helps and we, we need to stiffen up, especially in the shoulders. The footprint gets bigger due to the loan transfer, so we, we pay attention to put really stiff shoulder blocks on the on their shoulder. So that you really get a, a quick feedback and a quick uh, uh, a good control when, when, when braking. Only 15% of a tire consists of load-bearing structures. The rest is rubber, plastics and fillers. Given the constant mix of forces and changes of load, tires are of core importance to handling. So, look after them well.